Hi everyone. Okay, so I am documenting the rebirth, I should call it, of my Ibanez K7 guitar. Now, I'm doing this for everybody out there who has epilepsy, as I do. It's kind of a tribute to all of us fighting it, as well as making something disappointing into something very... I don't know, very uplifting. See, for as long as I can remember, about 20, 20 or so years now, I've been a huge fan of the band Korn. They have been a big reason why I got into music, and for so long, ever since they came out with the Ibanez K7, I've wanted one. Now, because of seizures, um, I have been unable to work, therefore unable to afford one. One day, about, what, 10 years maybe, after I started wanting one, I found one in a hawk shop. I just managed to afford it at the time. Little did I know, after a little bit of digging around a couple months later, I found out it was a Chinese knockoff. Very depressing. It would explain why it kind of sounded like garbage to boot. So, what I have decided is I am taking it, I am making it up my own. I am going to be stripping it right bare, filling in all the holes, there's a couple of nicks in it, replacing the pickups into uh, DiMarzio Blaze pickups, the same pickups that Monkey, one of the guitar players, currently uses. Now, the Ibanez K7 originally came with DiMarzio PAF7 pickups. I've been assured by my lovely wife that I will eventually have Head's new custom Ibanez which has the PAFs in it. So I figured why well, have two with the same. Also what I'm going to be doing is I have a person that is going to be painting it a metallic purple. I chose this color because while well, one I have never seen a purple guitar and two it means a lot. It is the official support color for epilepsy and I thought it would look really great for everybody. I'm choosing to share this with everybody. I'm choosing to do this with everybody because I believe not enough is done for people and not enough not enough is shown for people um, I think it's kind of dumb that something so serious gets such little attention while something not so much less serious but more manageable gets more more attention. I'm not going to say what because I'm sure there are some people out there that have fought it and survived it and I'm sure there's some that have lost their lives to it. So all along I'm going to be starting this tomorrow. Um, I'm going to start stripping and fixing holes. I'll be showing you what it looks like now. I'll be showing throughout the whole transformation, as you may call it. And I will be doing a comparisons of songs I will record with it. And I'll be playing the same songs before and after, so you all can hear the difference. So, um, with that said, I will be... I guess switching to my cell phone to make this rest of the video and showing you what is going on with the body and what I will be doing and tomorrow take a little bit show everybody and we'll see where it goes okay so here's the Ibanez K7 my lovely wife holding it now um, it's painted a really bare metallic blue at the moment. As you can see right here there's a small nick. Looks like someone took a screwdriver to it. And all chrome hardware which I am getting rid of. You see there on the neck K7. Yeah that's what had me. I thought it was. For some reason the headstock's green. I thought well maybe someone did custom work to it. And then on the bottom we can get around here there is the output now this thing 
had a football style kind of cover on it. I've recently changed it to cover a big ass hole. I don't know if you can see right in there. There's part of it, but it was really huge. Beautiful guitar, no less. I love the feel of it. I love the K7 on it. Same body style, all that fun stuff, but a few flaws. Those pickups, they sound like garbage. They're going out along with everything else. The headstock and the body here, like I said, are going metallic purple. The bridge and the volume knob I am making black as well. And those really ugly pickup rings, yeah, they're going bye-bye as well. I'm going to direct mount the pickups as they should be. I'll make some more as progress comes and keep everyone updated.